listening to Connections with me, Umbreen. Now, the family of a British Sikh held in an Indian jail in connection with murder have said he's written a letter describing the torture he's endured. Jagdar Singh Johal from Dumbarton in Scotland was arrested in Punjab last November. To find out more on this, I'm now joined by his brother, Gurpreet Singh, and he's on the phone. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks, Amreen, for having me on the show. OK, firstly, Gurpreet, what is the background to the story? How did your brother come to be arrested in India? So, um, Jack Tard went to India to get married. Um, and he got married on the 18th of October. As he, he decided to stay on for a little bit longer and not come back on the 1st of November. On the 4th of November, I got a call to say that somebody had taken Jack Tard off the streets. I would say he was abducted off the streets as opposed to arrested, given that we didn't know who it was. There was just 15 people came with plain clothes on and took him away. So going further on from there, he was alleged to have been involved in various crimes. And to date, we're over 226 days on and he's still not being charged with anything. So you you say that he was abducted um, and they're saying they, they arrested him for some criminal activity, but he's not being charged. So what are they saying then? Well, there's a charge sheet that's been presented, but he's still not being formally charged uh, at all. So he's been in custody for 226 days, but not being charged at all. And what are these uh, charges or allegations on the charge sheet? They varied. They said that it was going to be um, different charges, but they said it was conspiracy with things, but then it changed on to say, we don't know, uh, sorry, that he was involved in various crimes, uh, sorry, murders. Mm. And to date, none of these murders have came forward. Okay. The Indian High Commission com- commented on this, Deputy High Commissioner in February, to say he would be charged, but till date, he's still not being charged. So he's just been held in custody uh, with no charges, no kind of information as to what's going to happen with him, I'm assuming. Well, it's been prolonged for over 200 days. Right. And to date, on the 7th of November, the captain, Amrinder Singh of Punjab, had stated that they had all the evidence. But 200 days later, they still not provided a charge sheet or formally charged him. So... It's up in the air of what's actually going on. But during all this, he has been subject to torture. Mm -hmm. Now, he has written a letter which has emerged, which um, does allege that he's been tortured. What's in this letter or what does he mention about the torture that he's endured? So he was taken on the 4th of November. So that has now detailed out exactly what torture he endured over the from the 4th of November to the 7th of November, Mm. including that he would be taken to an unknown location and could be shot dead. Uh, Along with that, he also was a petrol can that was put in front of him to basically suggest that he could be burnt alive. That was just two things to say that he could be killed off. Mm -hmm. Other than that, he was subject to third degree torture where he was subject to having electric shocks to his private parts, his ears and uh, his uh, nipples. So which, again, it was another way of putting fear into him, mm. being subject to third degree torture at the time. He was also threatened that the same would happen to his wife and his cousin. Mm. Now, the authorities in, in India accuse your brother of being involved in the murder of an Indian national leader. W- what do you make of this? And, you know... It, it's just and, baffling, really, isn't it? Yeah, they say Indian national leader, but what people forget to think is this, that the person allegedly who he's supposed to be involved in murdering is an RSS uh, leader and not a Hindu nationalist leader. Mm-hmm. And there's a background to that that never ever actually gets picked up. And as it stands at the moment... Um, He's alleged to have been involved in this, but if he had been involved in any of these crimes, then why is it why is he not being charged in 226 days mm-hmm. and he's still not being charged? So you've been in touch with the Foreign Office. What do they what do they say? What can they um, do? Well, the reason well they promised extreme action in November 2017. We've still not seen the extreme action. Mm. They've 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 known about this letter since February 2018. 
and they've not done anything about it at all, other than allegedly raising the matter with the respective uh, delegates mm-hmm. in India. So that's not extreme action that was promised. Right. Prom- in government, it was promised by Rory Stewart. If a British national has been subject to torture, we will take extreme action. The evidence is there. The British government have done nothing. So what happens next then, uh, Gurpreet? What, what, what can you do? Well, we wanted to find the British government accountable to what's happened because the British national went to India. He's not had a private meeting with consular services. He's not been allowed to have an independent medical report. And uh, um, he's not going to have a, a fair trial because the whole thing's turned into a media trial, what the Indian authorities have done. So what we're asking the government to do is step in and provide your citizen protection. Mm. Because if you can't provide a British citizen protection now, then who can you protect? And it's not just one British citizen at risk. Every one of us are at risk now. Mm-hmm. OK. Well, I mean, uh, as you say, there, there are so many unanswered questions regarding this. And obviously you're looking for questions and try and get your brother home. We wish you every success with your endeavours to try and get to the bottom of this story. But thank you very much for joining us this evening no and, and shedding a little bit more light on that case. Thanks a lot, Amdi. Thank you. Thank you. That was Gurpreet Singh, and uh, we have contacted the Indian Investigation Agency for a response to this story, but not received a response so far. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.